Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And listen, y'all, I know some of y'all thought I was full of shit the other day when I told y'all I had been trying to post. I had went out of town, and the hotel, it did have a strong uh, Wi-Fi signal. However, for some reason, I don't think that it was, what's the word I'm looking for? You know how we, I don't think the speed was fast enough because I made a video talking about B. Smith and her trifling husband and that white woman who he moved into that house. Baby, I want to tell y'all, baby, <laughs> I rewatched some of that video and I'm so happy that that video did not upload because the way I cursed that man out, I cursed that man out like that was my man and he moved a white whore inside my house. I called that man everything in the book, including <laughs> him not being a child of God. Girl, I must have cussed that man out. I said, girl, you could, girl, I'm so happy. Girl, I think that was somebody telling you, bitch, you don't need to upload this video because, girl, the way you curse this man out, girl, if he see you, he might slap the shit out of you. And I'm going to slap the shit out of his ass back, but, girl. So, basically, I tried to upload the video, and the video was only, like, 13 minutes long. It was, it was not a long video. And, girl, it was telling me it was going to take, like, 20, 25 minutes to upload. You know how, like, it says processing, uploading. What? Girl, listen, I was in Miami. I did not have time to be sitting around trying to upload a video for 25 minutes because I needed my phone because, you know, I had to get in contact with my, you know, my poppies. And girl, I can't be, I can't be, uh-uh. You know, sometimes depending on the internet service, if you stop, like if you stop, I don't know how some, some people videos upload, but you know, like you may stop the upload to like check a message or something and then messes up the whole, you know, upload thing. Anyway, so... Basically, I'm glad I didn't upload that video. I'm going to make it over. And plus, on top of that, I have been drinking straight vodka. So, girl. I cussed that man out, y'all. I cussed that man out. It was so it was so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary how I cursed that man out the way I did. Girl, I don't like the way he did that woman. I don't like the way he did that woman. I just don't. Because at the end of the day, my whole thing is this. Girl, let, you know what? Let's go ahead and talk about let's let, let's talk about B. Smith. All right, because I done changed my whole review that fast. Listen, so for those who don't know, B. Smith passed away last Saturday, I believe, and she was married to someone that he called her her, her his her, her husband. His name was Dan, and I guess when they found out the diagnosis, you know. Um, I will say this much. I do believe Dan was telling the truth because what happened, basically for those who don't know, B. Smith had Alzheimer's. Um, he, for whatever reason, decided that it was appropriate and, um, um, necessary for him to post these pictures of B. Smith and this white woman. And so everybody was confused on who is this white woman in this picture with B. Smith. Now quiet as it's kept, I had never really heard of B. Smith up until her husband decided to embarrass her. Um, but a lot of people are saying that like B. Smith is like, well, somebody told me the correct way to say it, not B. Smith is the white Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart is a black B, is a white B. Smith. So B. Smith, um, gorgeous, I think ex supermodel, he starts to post these pictures, and then that's how we found out that, you know, she had this sickness, this illness. And the story may upset me because I felt like it was so unnecessary and embarrassing because when I started to look up information on B. Smith, the woman was, I mean, girl, she was a, a successful, she clearly cared about the way that she looked, right? Um, kept herself together, makeup on point, her locks were on point, outfits be on point, and then he posts these pictures of this woman who was B. Smith, a mini little afro, ain't nothing wrong with that, a boy, girl, an oversized sweater on, and some jeans, girl. Clearly, you know that this is not the B. This is not the way B. Smith carried herself. So I'm not exactly sure why you're deciding to um, parade her around looking the way that she looked. Now, he says that, um, you know, you have Alzheimer's, it, it sometimes it's like taking care of a four or five year old child, except she was a grown woman. 
Now, this is where things started to get real fucked up and people started to cuss his ass the fuck out, including me and some of y'all too, was we started, to, we started to find out that the white woman that he had in those pictures was actually his girlfriend. Girlfriend? What you mean, girlfriend, girl? A girlfriend? Hold up. So you married to this woman and you went and got a whole new girlfriend? He says that he had a conversation with B. Smith. I'm assuming that when she found out the diagnosis, and I do believe him when he says this, that um, she wanted him to be happy, not stop his life. I, I think she meant that after, you know, she would pass away. You know, I don't think she meant at that moment for you to go get some white hoe and move her into her house. I don't think she said that. And so, of course, he goes onto this world apology tour and he goes onto The View. And even Sonny mentioned that to him like, okay, girl. So, B. Smith, there's no way B. Smith knows about this white girl. She ain't say white girl. I'm adding more to it. She knows, she does not know about this new woman who's your girlfriend who you who you decided to move into her home. She doesn't she doesn't she doesn't know about he skipped and danced around a question, y'all. Cause he know that it just that, that B Smith ain't gay. Maybe let me say something. I was hoping that B Smith just would have as ignorant as it's gonna sound, I just wanted her to just come to for about an hour, just an hour. Who, who, who is this white hoe in my house? Dan, who is this white bitch you got in my house? Yo, girl, it's, who are you? Baby, you don't get the fuck up at my house? Baby, you got a white bitch? That's, I just want her to go off and set it off, set that whole house on fire. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Really and truly, I really want her to come to enough just to call a lawyer to make sure his black ass don't get none of her goddamn money. Because you know that's exactly why he stuck around. My whole thing is this. If you want to go ahead and move on with your life because, you know what, this is this how, this, this how I keep telling y'all stop taking vows so seriously because these niggas don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, if you really was, if you really care, if you really took your vows to heart and you really were there to protect and honor your wife through sickness, through sickness and in he through sickness and health, then you already you should you should. There's no way that you should have had a white woman in that woman's house. And yes, it sounds worse because it's a white woman. Now maybe if it was a black woman, it, she probably wouldn't have got as cursed out as bad. But I think she still would have got cursed out. And even if it was Keisha, we still would have cursed Keisha the fuck out. But it does make it sound a whole lot worse when we find out the bitch is white. John, you really gonna do this to Bernie? You really gonna go get this white woman? After this woman is stuck beside your sorry ass, all this, you gonna go get a white one? And then you gonna move her inside the house? And in quiet as it's kept, I don't give a damn what nobody say. I think the white lady was mistreating B. Smith. I ain't got no evidence. That's just what I think. Y'all got the money. Why would y'all not go get a caretaker? You know what I'm saying? Hold up, y'all. Why would y'all not go get a caretaker? It's one thing if you trying to take care of mama or daddy or big papa or grand or grandmama and y'all and people don't have the money to get a caretaker, so you have to rotate through family members and all that stuff. That's one that's one thing. That's that's a different situation. But when you have the funds, when you have the coin, I'm not exactly sure why you would not go get someone who specializes in this type of situation. Like th this is what they do. This is th this is their job. You see what I'm saying? So you're putting, excuse me, you're putting on this added, this unnecessary added stress onto you trying to become this victim when you didn't even have to be. And if 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 if, if you felt as though he said this out of his own mouth, his life shouldn't have to stop. Basically, because my life shouldn't have to stop because this bitch got sick. That's how I took it. That's how I took it. That's what he was saying. My life should not have to stop because my wife now has this ill. What about my life? Bitch, what about your life? Bitch, what about your life? Bitch, your wife is the one who has... You sound just like motherfucking NeNe. I'm cursing. I'm cursing too much. I'm cursing too much and too hard. You sound like NeNe. NeNe, you ain't the one who got the cancer, girl. Your husband is. Dan, you ain't the one who got all the, your wife is. Yes, it ain't about you. And this is what you signed up for. 
And if it was that big of an issue, why didn't you just divorce her? Why didn't you just, I know why, because you was going to stick around. You was going to stick around and make sure you got that goddamn money. But guess what? That white, ho that white woman, she about to wipe your ass out of that money. Go ahead, Alexis. Go ahead, Sue, Trudy, Ed, whatever your name is, girl. Go ahead and get that, go ahead and get the money. <laughs> go ahead and get it, because she, she got, she got. Where is B, where is B Smith family at, y'all? I know she got to have a cousin, a sister, a, a line sister. Girl, I know she, what's she, AKA, a Delta, a Zeta, something. She got to have a Zeta sister, a Delta, a, a, somebody. I know she got a sister. I know she got a favorite cousin. Why ain't heard nothing from nobody? Y'all yeah, know y'all, and remember I mentioned B Smith because for some reason she was on my mind. Like after the whole thing happened, and we found out that he was basically disrespecting his wife and making her look like a goddamn fool. Like one day I was just, I was like, I wonder how B Smith is doing. And so I got online trying to find if I trying to see if I could find any updated articles, and I couldn't find nothing. Um, and then you know, of course, this past Saturday I saw that she had passed away. Um, but I just don't understand, like. <sighs> Niggas ain't shit but hoes and tricks. You got some good. Let me say something. You got some good men out there, okay? Well, you got some good men out there. It's, it, you got some Barats. You got some 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 Prince Harrys. You got some Papooses. You got some, you know, you got some. You got some Russell Wilsons. You got some good men out there. But you also got a whole bunch of fuck niggas. And then you fall in the category of a fuck nigga. And I don't care what nobody say, girl. You did your wife dirty. You did her dirty. You did her dirty. If you did not want to be in that situation, you should have divorced her and went on and lived your happily ever life, ever after life with that white woman. But no, you didn't want to do that because you was trying to stick around and make sure you could get that money. And then that white woman about to wipe your ass clean. What time is it? Now that white woman about to wipe your ass clean. That's what. That's what's about to happen. I don't like it. I don't like the situation. I mean, I hope, you know, I hope that B. Smith, you know, she, like I said, I guess she rests in peace. I mean, hopefully I ain't wake her up with all this cussing and hollering I was doing the other day. But I feel like she, she needs, she, I feel like if she, if she, if she, if she ever meet me one day in the afterlife, she going to say, good job, son. <laughs> Thank you for cussing that motherfucker the fuck out the way you did. Because <laughs> I saw you. I saw you. I'm glad you didn't upload that video, because, baby. But. Thank you. Because I couldn't cuss him out the way I wanted to. You're welcome. Anytime. <laughs> I don't like Dad. I don't like his daughter. His daughter up to no good. Girl, if you watch this video, your daddy is sh your daddy ain't shit. Girl, you low-key ain't shit either. Cause I think you and your daddy in codes. You, your daddy, and that white woman. Y'all are not gonna get nobody to believe that that shit is okay. Ain't nothing okay about that whole situation. Nothing is okay about that whole situation. Nothing. Y'all had that woman walking around here with bell bottom jeans on and over and oversized sweaters with a little puff on her head, no makeup. And I understand, like, the last thing you probably want to do is worry about trying to put some makeup on somebody who, you know, is not, I guess, mentally there, I guess, for lack of better words. Like, I don't know. But I think they should have just let it be what it was going to be. Like, okay, my wife has this diagnosis. You know, we can let the world know, but we will not embarrass her. We will not, you know parade her around. We will not make this situation worse than what it already is. Bitch, I'm already, I already done let a white woman move in into my wife's, my wife home. You see what I'm saying? I've let you move into my home and now I'm going to take pictures and put them on the internet and expect everybody to hip hop hooray for what we got going on when you know that that shit just didn't seem right. That white woman went over there and got you like a goddamn food dad. I hope she take your ass for everything because that's what she about to do. You know, white women don't play. They be cackling like a motherfucking girl. <laughs> she said, I, she, this is exactly what she said. I know that nigga weak. He a weak nigga. I'm going to do what I want to do with him. And I'm going to move into this nigga house. And ain't nobody going to do a goddamn thing about it. 
And guess what? Didn't nobody do a goddamn thing about it but curse and holler and scream. And guess what? She still stayed in that house, B. Smith house, that she probably ended up paying for. <laughs> Quiet as it's kept. Anyways, I don't know who wears B. Smith. I mean, I don't know who wore Dan, Kevin Hunt. So these niggas ain't shit, bitch. You think you marry somebody for better or for worse? And you think that a motherfucker gonna protect you? And the truth of the matter is the protection you need is from your goddamn husband. Because them the ones who be embarrassing people. Anyways, y'all. I guess I'll do Real Housewives of Atlanta review when I get off, girl. This was not supposed to be about B. Smith. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got to say, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.